Welcome back. Now, fair to say, we are addicted to screens. Did you know the average person checks their phone every 12 minutes? That's over 29,000 times a year. We're addicted. You ever lost your phone? You turn into Liam Neeson. You're like, <laughs> I will find you. <laughs> I will not stop. Oh, it's in my hand. <laughs> I mean, Christ, 11% admit to checking their phone during a funeral. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> I miss Grandad so much. He was such a kind man. <laughs> <laughs> a picture of a llama that looks like Ed Sheeran. <laughs> it's terrible, isn't it? Imagine burying your nan and you find out that Liverpool have scored. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Yes! <laughs> what a fucking lovely service! <laughs> in fact, watching football at a funeral would be a nightmare. I'd say, Get in there! Stick it in the box! <laughs> Stop fanning around and bury it! I'm sorry! <laughs> and it's not just funerals. 7% admit to checking their phone during sex. <laughs> I mean, come on! What is so important it can't wait 18 seconds? <laughs> oh, I banged her twice. It's insane. <laughs> Who is there making sweet love? Just going, have a look at that, look. <laughs> He does look like Ed Sheeran, doesn't he? <laughs> Pass it on, have a look. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just phones. We're sat in front of tellies like zombies. Have you ever had that? You know when the TV comes up? If you're on the screen, it goes, you have 60 seconds until this TV turns... It's like the telly's going, I should turn myself off. I've been on for so long, they must be dead. <laughs> No human could watch TV for this long, and you're like, ah, where's the TV remote? 45 seconds, find it! If we don't do something, we'll have to talk to each other! And then you're like, oh, I nearly missed the end of Homes Under the Hammer. <laughs> We're so crazy for screens that one screen isn't even enough. 80% of us double screen. We all do it. You're probably doing it now. We're watching a film around a mate, so my girlfriend was on the phone the whole time checking on our dog. She's got an app called a Furbo, where you can spy on the dog through your phone. What is she expecting to see? <laughs> like she's going to switch it on and he's running a small business. <laughs> <laughs> you Chinese kids better make me some training. I mean, woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's never that. The only thing my dog will be doing is pumping his pillow. <laughs> A dog shouldn't be spied on. It should be used for its true purpose, dressing up like Mother Teresa. <laughs> That's my actual dog, and that is one of the best days in my life. <laughs> Not only are phones rotting our brains, they're changing us physically. We're hunched over. <laughs> We're going to end up looking like fucking prawns. <laughs> In fact, in a few generations, experts have worked out smartphones might make our hands look like this. That looks like Voldemort's wank glove. <laughs> and in case you don't think phones are dangerous, look at this. Bill Gates and Steve Jobs raised their kids tech-free. It's almost as if they knew the damage they could cause. Can you imagine Steve Jobs' kids? Dad, can we have an iPad? No! Why? Because of this! <laughs> Fear the phone! Now, 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 don't get me wrong, right? <laughs> I'm not one of those, I don't think we should have a phone kind of a guy. It's like me and my mum met this guy in India, and he was all like, I don't have a phone. When I want to know the answer, I ask the universe. <laughs> it was all tie-dye and judgment. I'm here to find myself. And my mum went, if I were you, I'd stop fucking looking. <laughs> you appear to arrived at Dickhead Avenue. <laughs> But it is ridiculous at the moment. You have this device that gives you everything, so you take in none of the world. And it's all fake. We're checking up on our friends' social media. We're not enjoying life. We're enjoying a version of their life that isn't really their life. But then we compare it to our life and then post a fake version of our life to compete with the fake version of their life. Fucking Nobody knows what it's like to just be anymore. Being bored is when you have ideas. But now, as soon as there's a pause, someone's whipped out their phone. Sometimes, the maddest... <laughs> Sometimes. 
the maddest bits of life occur when you put the phone down and live in the moment. Like, The point I'm making, <laughs> sometimes, if you're off the phone, you may see a llama <laughs> that looks just like Ed Sheeran.